Hey guys, there's a new patch today. Let's look over a patch. Here it is, a few points. First point is <laughs> they, they want to sell you more land for a small sum of a million coins and a thousand gears. Uh, okay, whatever. Town Hall, upgraded to level 26. Okay, I'm not even there yet. I don't think most of uh, you guys watching are there. If you guys are there, you don't need my advice for, <laughs> for plenty of things. Um, they added new ships. HMS Resolute, Jersey, and a steamer. Okay. Uh, SS President, I'm ready for the maiden voyage. Yeah. Notification, the taverns are just, were adjusted. That's all. Okay, we'll take a look at that. All the captains, girl, in your captain now accessible for a new icon on the right side of the screen. Yep, that's a UI change. I have to say, I like this. No, the game froze. Ah, uh, why do you do this? Okay, time to reload this. Don't you love games just crash on you? <laughs> okay. Anyways, with that out of the way, let's talk about this little piece of land that you're selling. You'll notice that it's actually a square right here. There's a tree line and it comes down here. So as you can see, no, I can't, you can't see my fingers I point to, but here's the border. So let's see how much it is to relock it. Okay, 60,000 experience, yay. Oh, a million coins, as I said earlier, no point. A thousand gears. You know what? With all the buildings now, when I have to buy this piece of land up here, I, I can put all the house like this. And all that's gone. And adding on to the fact that they're going to select captains from here instead of where's this building. Yeah, let's move this building. Nobody's ever going to use it now. I can just chuck it in the back and no one ever noticed. Uh, let me just put it over there for now. No one's ever going to care. Nobody, no one's ever going to care where this building is. Nobody needs to see these captains. Eh. They can't be there. Okay. Yep, okay, let's look at the town hall. What, what level is my town? 22, I'm not even there yet. Eh, that's gonna take a while. I think most of you are around, around level 60 to maybe a level 120 something. Actually, speaking of which, if you guys can comment and put what your level is on the comment, on not the comment, on the comment section below, that would be great because it's hard to, uh, to to tailor if if that's the way to call it what what tips or what's the way to do things at a certain level because that changes over time so if doesn't matter if you just start yesterday put it down there and I will come back to this video to check at the levels and I'll try to make interesting content for those levels about seaport <laughs> okay uh, let's see ships they add some new ships mm, 110 maximum not really interesting 130 okay 140 it just seems like they always stop at 140 something tells me if you notice on the loading screen of seaport there's higher tiers of ships they're not all built with wood so I think those ships will have a hundred forty and higher uh, crew requirement, and that's part of the reason why I don't want to upgrade all my ship because at some point they're gonna release it, and at some point I need to buy those with whatever resource we have. It might be three months away. It could be six months away. It could be a year away. I don't know, but there's there. That's probably the reason why I haven't spend all my uh, resource unless it's really pressing uh, as you can see I got a forge mill in mine I'll probably make a little video on with Excel but that's not ready yet but generally uh, for it's probably less efficient than if you keep making resource from the uh, the, I guess the lower level buildings. I don't even remember what these are called. Sawmill, 
forge? No, this is the forge. I don't know. Anyways, these are better at making resource than these. Per fish wise, per fish. It'll make you more in the long term, but it'll take longer. It'll take, it is less efficient. So it's like driving, it's like driving a 16 wheeler. Well, maybe not that bad. <laughs> it's like driving a V8 compared to like, you know, uh, a family sedan. That's how I would put it. But if you're really hurting for resource and there's something you gotta do, then by all means use these. But if otherwise, just use these ones because you'll be broke with fish over long term and always upgrade this and you have always a lot of fish. Okay, is there anything more in this patch? Um, right. Taverns. Limited offer. New captains arrive in 20 hours. 21 hours. Anyways. Uh... I'm these captains, yeah, James Flint, Tim Seaworthy. Uh, wait, James Flint. Oh yeah, yeah, these captains, not very impressive. Plus eighty. No, no, not this one. I'm talking about this gold. Hundred eighty plus forty, fifty thousand, thirty-four thousand. If you look at this, uh, after this change, it was different the last time I seen it. Oh well. Oh no, 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 I haven't changed. So don't well, ignore this calculator. So thirty-six thousand for ten trips. So that's three thirty-six hundred gold every time you send to collect sixty. So if you do a simple multiplication, thirty-six hundred divided by sixty. The destination, if you were to collect gold with it, it has to be over sixty, sixty-one really to make sense. So. Don't send it to the close one, send it to the far one, because that, that's how you make money. And the second one, Henry I, the first one is John Finch. So, 60. It needs at least 61 of a multiplier bonus at a destination, if you're collecting gold, to count. For Henry, it's 67. So you do get more cargo, but the, he costs more, because it's... 3600 per trip because it's 10 trip and this one is 5300 per trip almost 54 so a little bit higher so that's worthwhile to hire but eh. right now I'm still trying to do some of the event destinations so I'm not going to be doing these they do give you a little bit but not that much which what's actually interesting uh, I'll also focus in the next video will be these coca plantation I hope I can get it to level 3 this and also Taylor then we can look at if that is probably the best way to make XP that's how you print XP boys <laughs> and girls uh, let's see 110 divided by 25 that's 4.4 4.4 but if you take cloth so then it's 5 so what does that tell me that tells me something oh my, oh, my brain just freezes when it comes to numbers I can't believe this That means for cloth, it's better making cloth into gold than coca into gold. 20? 25? No, no, no. Okay, yeah, coca you turn into experience because one nets you 25. But cloth, you only get 20, so then collect gold. Yes, 25. That's is considering all the multipliers the same, but that changes when you level up anyways it'll be in the next video so for this video i think that's it not that much is happening other than uh this event is ending i forgot what this event was i forgot what this event was but yeah i'm not i'm not this event's not that nice i wouldn't say i forgot 
gotten anything that's that impressive out of it. Maybe the achievement was cool to get more crew, but yeah, I, w I wouldn't miss this event compared to the other ones where I get special ships, like the Halloween event. Ooh, that was pretty cool. Okay, anyways, uh, enough chattering. Until the next update, I'll see you guys next time.